Hello, I'm Kevin Annett. I'm speaking to you from Mohawk Nation Territory, the Ongwahanwe people near Brantford, Ontario. I was asked months ago to come here and help uncover what's turned out to be the remains of children who died in these Indian residential schools. That's not even the right term for them. They were internment camps, as we know by now. And for me, this is the end of a long journey that started almost 20 years ago. And it's the start of a journey for all white Canadians, my people, Euro-Canadians who came here and were hijacked by the same religion that murdered these people. Hijacked in the sense of forced to belong to a genocidal institution that was preaching the words of Christ while turning around and murdering people in his name. And it's the beginning of a journey that we all have to face because we caused it. We continue to pay for it. We continue to support these churches by granting them tax credits, by shouldering the burden of them, and even paying for their legal costs when they're confronted with their crime. And so we really are facing a reckoning now, and it's something I've had to face in my life, but each one of us has to face in some way. Because as long as we continue to support these churches, attending them, giving them tax concessions, and granting them protection of the law, they are allowed to get away with these crimes. These are the bones of children as young as two and three years old, died in this Indian school. Not one person has ever been brought to trial in Canada for these crimes. But now the truth of these bones is out for everyone to know. This cannot be denied anymore. This isn't about documents or people's hearsay evidence or even people's testimonies. That doesn't seem to have been enough to convince the world and Canadians of the seriousness of the crime. But here in our hearts, we know when we're looking at these bones, these were children. These bones were cut off. You can see here, they were cut in two. The, the bones were chopped up. The bodies were cut up and then hidden in the ground, scattered around with bits of charcoal in that, which is a sign that they were probably burned in the furnace here. And so to remember these children and honor them, we not only have to bring them home for proper burial and confront the churches and demand the evidence from them, but we have to put these churches on trial. And the way we can begin to do that is by, in our own life, taking back these institutions. One thing I want to say, especially to the people of the Occupy movement, we need your help now. We need you to come in and occupy these church buildings and the churches on Sunday and say, we're not leaving until the evidence and the people responsible for these crimes are brought to justice. That's an appeal I'm making directly to the Occupy movement to help us. Contact us at itccs.org at hiddenfromhistory1 at gmail.com and learn how you can become part of the Occupy the Vatican movement, OccupyTheVatican.com, where you can learn about how this is a worldwide movement to confront the biggest and oldest criminal organization on the planet known as the Vatican. We can do that in any community here in the world. And we're going to begin here in Brantford, Ontario. So I invite you to be part of that movement and join with us in the coming year, especially to not only bring the children home, but change the society that did this to them and bring down those institutions that did this to them so that we can never ever again have a regime where children can be bought and sold and trafficked and killed and the people responsible get away with it. We have to end that reign of terror against children now all over the world. So I invite you to be part of that and thank you for listening to me.